should you spend $1,400 a foot on a new condo in Toronto? Is $1,400 a foot is a good price to buy in a condo in Toronto? Hello, this is Jesse Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker, and today we're going to talk about spending crazy amounts of money on new condos down here, King West, downtown Toronto. So what's going on? It's uh, almost 2020, and recently price of condos shooting through the roof. Developers are putting beautiful condos out, but the price is also high. Uh, is it worth it? Well, there's two ways to look at it. There's a financial way to look at it. The numbers make sense. And also there's emotional way, the humane way, the human way to look at it. So let's take a look at both and see if we can come to any conclusion. I hope you can hear me. I lost the headset again. And uh, it's windy in the alleyway, but it's way more windy out there. I guess uh, rain's coming in. But it's okay. Let's go. So should you spend $1,400 a foot on a condo in Toronto? Let's take, for example, your typical investor condo, 500 square feet. One bedroom, or maybe one plus den at 600 square feet. That's a pretty small unit, efficient unit. Hopefully, the design is good. I talked a lot about proper design. You know, we have long and narrow condo with a kitchen on the side, and you cannot put your uh, your living room in. You can't really sit there and enjoy uh, your room. That's a big problem because that means your tenants they come in and it's kind of tight. They're always going to look for a place out. Always want to pick a unit that your tenants will feel good. And then they stay there three, four, five years. You don't have to deal with me. You'll see I need a new tenant. Or they come and go and all that stuff. It's always a headache. The best tenants for landlords, those who stay for a long time. But should the landlord buy a unit uh, at $1,400 foot? So 500 uh, square feet unit, uh, the price will come to about seven ten, seven twenty thousand dollars $720,000. Uh, 600 square feet, uh, you're looking at close to $900,000 for $1,400 foot, okay? Fifteen hundred, uh, it'll be six hundred plus three is nine hundred thousand, and uh, fourteen hundred will be slightly less than that, so say six eighty, six seventy five. Plus, because it's a new condo, you got closing costs, you got uh, HST, GST, because you're not living there. Um, you got uh, developing the costs and caps and fees and all that land transfer tax, so it's gonna be expensive. Yet you can easily add another. 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars, depending on the unit you buy, to the to the actual price. So that's expensive. But the fact the fact that it's expensive doesn't mean it's not good. You gotta look at it properly. So let's say I bought this six hundred square feet or five hundred square feet unit and I pay seven hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, okay? So that unit, what's gonna run me as an investor, okay? The condo fees for five hundred square foot units about four hundred dollars a month these days, okay? And they, they go up a little bit by inflation, by 2 or 3% every year. Somebody asked me on the phone today, how much are the condo fees and how much do they go up every year? I said, oh, you know, if you want to be safe, just take inflation. 2 or 3% a year will give you a rough estimate. So if it's $400 today, it'll be another 12 or 20 bucks next year. That's not a big deal. Taxes, you know, are based not on the size. So hey, let me backtrack. Condo fees are based on the size of the unit, you know, so per foot. Uh, some buildings now give discount on the larger units because, you know, a, a two-bedroom uh, in 600 square feet is paying way less tax than a two-bedroom in 1,200 square feet. But are they using the facilities more? No, it's two-bedroom. So there should be some kind of a sliding scale. There where this, it's, it's paid by the number of bedrooms and not by number of um, size. But, you know, that's up to the developer for now, and it's almost impossible to change it after, of course, because of... Uh, how the condos will work, but you know that's a digression. Let's focus here. Um, you spending seven twenty five, seven hundred twenty five thousand Canadian dollars um, for one bedroom, maybe one plus den if you're lucky to squeeze a den in that five hundred five fifty square feet. It's going to run you in condo fees about four hundred a month. It's going to run you in taxes. Say it's one percent of seven uh, hundred or seven twenty five. That's seventy two fifty a year. Divide by 12, what is that? So it's about 600 a month, okay? Just over 600 a month. So six and four, that's $1,000 a month for your condo fees and taxes on that small little unit. So that's basically two bucks a foot, $2 a foot. I used to calculate $1 a foot per unit, now it's uh, two. So $2 a foot are your fixed cost. You can't change that, yeah? You have to pay the condo fees, you have to pay the municipal taxes. Um, and then, of course, if you have a mortgage, you gotta consider the mortgage. So let's say you put... You put your twenty percent down. You put about one hundred forty, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So you got a huge mortgage of five hundred fifty thousand dollars, six hundred thousand dollars. That is crazy. Uh, if you're paying three hundred dollars uh, per month for the mortgage, which is really cheap, per one hundred thousand uh, times six, that's eighteen hundred plus the thousand, twenty eight hundred. If you're paying four hundred dollars uh, 
400,000, 400 times 4, 2400, plus 600, 3200. This is uh, no calculator here. <laughs> okay, just all in the head. So, you know, you're paying between two. Uh, your mortgage will cost you about, say, 2000 a month, maybe 2400 a month, plus the 600. You're looking at at least twenty four to three thousand dollars a month just to carry the unit. Can you get three thousand dollars a month for one bedroom? No, you cannot. You can get twenty two, twenty three, twenty four if you're lucky. But you know, three thousand dollars for that one bedroom you're not gonna get. So is it a good investment? Well, so what can you do? Um and then we're going to look at appreciation. So what can you do? You know, um, you can pay more down. If you pay the whole thing cash, okay, then all you got to do is the carrying cost, $1,000. Let's say you get $2,500 for that one bedroom and you get $1,500 a month cash flow times 12, $18,000 a month. But then you have to divide the $18,000 by the amount you invested, say seven fifty, dollars and that'll give you an idea of the return in percentage. And that's uh, what's called the ROI. Return on investment. What's my return annualized? So I take my whatever I have left over after I paid all my uh, fees, condo fees, taxes, all that stuff, um, and I take the rent, reduce that, and what I get left over, I divide by the amount I invested. If I invested the whole thing, then I divide by whatever I invested. If I invested only 20%, I divide by the 20%. So obviously, the less you put down, the higher your ROI, but you still have now you have to pay interest. So you got to bring that into calculation. Now, this is not a, a math video. I'm just giving you some ideas of how to think about it. So when you're paying $1,400, $1,500 a month for the unit, that 500 square foot unit will cost you at least $150,000 down, let's say $200,000, plus a thousand bucks a month, plus the mortgage, easy $25,000, $3,000 a month, okay? That's very, very expensive, even for today's uh, values. Now, when you do that, you think, well, you know, Maybe I'll get some appreciation, okay? How much can a unit appreciate uh, when it's already at fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a foot? That's 40, 50% more than a thousand dollar a foot, which is barely break even. Okay, so let's say I want to bring my unit up by a hundred dollars a foot. So basically, it's a hundred dollars a foot times 500 square feet, that's fifty thousand dollars. So if the unit price comes up by fifty thousand dollars, was it, was it worth it? My investment was a hundred fifty or two hundred thousand, so I'm, I'm Returning 33%, 25%, about a quarter to a third of my investment for every $50,000 that I make, for every $100,000 that you need adds in value, okay? Now, if I added $100,000, so you know it was, was only cost me $1,000 a foot, so that 500 square feet unit would cost me 500000 not 750 uh, I'm doing a lot better. I'm doing a lot better because... Um, now I'm adding, every time I'm adding uh, 100, I'm adding 20% of value, not 10% of value. So higher jumps of value, okay? So obviously, from all this uh, stuff, what you need to understand is the cheaper the buy the unit, the faster you can make your percentages. So why would you spend 14, or should you spend $1,400 on a unit? Well, there's two main reasons why you should do it. Number one, you like quality project. You find a quality project in a great area. So I'm talking about 123 Portland, um, maybe 543 Richmond is sold out, but you know, those, those are, that thing sold for $1,200. Uh, Rush Condo was about $1,400, you know. These units, at $1,400, uh, you want to buy something very, very quality, boutique building that will last you a long time. Now, why will last you a long time? Because it's going to be hard to flip it and make a lot of money. You know, you're going to flip it and make uh, $50,000 by the time you pay all your dues, your fees, uh, the capital gains, there's nothing left. So it's not a short-term investment, it's a long-term investment, or you buy to live. And you got to make sure everything is really, really good because you're paying so much, you know. You're paying so much for the unit, you got to make sure it's all on the up and up. That the floor plan is amazing, that you got a bit of a view, that the building is good, that you like everything about it, that the amenities are those you want. So you got to be very careful, okay. Um, you, you're going to see in the next couple of years assignments coming up for prices which are crazy. And we'll see if people are buying them or not because, you know, developer will always say, yes, you can assign for free or 500 bucks or 1000 bucks, and you can rent it during occupancy, which is really good. It's helping investors. But the question is, will the investor actually buy in a $1,400 foot? If you're buying cash, if you're buying for the long term, it's okay. If you're a flipper, if you're a short term, if you're a first-time buyer, I would suggest give me a call and find cheaper units to start with.
okay? Start with something simple, a little cheaper, a little more safe, uh, easy on the pocket. You sleep better at night. Uh, but if you got the money and you can do it and you can stay, why not? I mean, eventually it'll catch up. And, if, you know, it takes three years to, to build the condo. Price will be up by then, hopefully, and you'll do well. So, if you big pockets, long term, love quality, give me a call. We'll find you a great boutique investment at high price. If you are a short investor and need to make the money back, we'll find you something that works in that price range. Get it? That's it.